full of us. Make we scatter this place tonight. Dance and sweat till lights in a fight. We must settle this thing tonight. Yeah. Come, let us catch some feelings for night. Yeah. And if you tell me, say, make up bed. No, no, no. Welcome back to my channel. So um, the girls turned eight months yesterday. I need to stop banging on the table. The girls turned eight months yesterday and I was just thinking back today like how quickly the time has gone and you know when I thought I couldn't survive this motherhood with twins. I'm here. I've made it to like eight months so I'm sure I can make it for another you know 180 years or whatever. But yeah so um this is just such a spontaneous random video i wasn't even thinking to do this but i thought let me just um talk about my experiences and how i found it you know obviously i'm not the most experienced this these are my first kids um this is my first time being a mom and it's only been eight months so i don't have a massive amount of experience but i figured what i do have might be able to help someone out there especially anyone expecting twins or anyone who has twins um who might be around you know my girl's age age range so yeah um let's get into it so um where should i start so basically when i found out well when we found out that we were having twins um obviously it was at the three month scan that you go and have that's the first scan that you have and um, once you find that you're pregnant and um the hospital gives you an appointment date so when the what do you call the people you know the woman who basically uses the gel and the little machine thingy and the TV thingy and shows you, you know, you know, the baby's fine, you know, it's in there or whatever. That woman or man, I can't remember what their jobs are called at this moment. I bet you to come to me once this video's done. Um, but yeah, so she was like, uh, oh, okay, there's one baby. And then we're like, oh, okay, that's good. The baby's fine. And then um, she was like, oh, what, what else do you see? And then I'm looking and I personally, I saw it straight away. But you know when you see something but it doesn't register? And then my husband who was sitting next to me, he was like, he couldn't see anything. Even though there was like two obvious blobs on the screen. I was like, I turned to him, I was like, oh my gosh, babe, we're having twins. He was like, what? Like, again with him, he hasn't registered. He's looking at the screen and he still can't see these two obvious blobs on there. Um, I was like, we're having two. And she's like, yeah, it's two. Guys, if I tell you, let me be honest, I was not excited. Now, let me tell you why. I have never been one who has, want, who has wanted twins. Like, pre-children, you know, when I used to think about children, I was always like, I don't want twins. I do not want twins. Twins are hard work. If I saw anyone with twins, I was like, Psh. I feel sorry for you, son. Boy, you got a heart. I was one of those people. I did not want twins at all. So, it was a shock when we found out that it was having twins. And I wasn't upset, but I was like, what am I going to do? This is going to be so hard. Like, you know, it probably wasn't the most positive um, feeling. It wasn't too negative, but it probably wasn't the most positive feeling. Um... God has a sense of humor, guys. Sometimes, you know, obviously they talk about the power of the tongue and be careful what you say because it might come to fruition. Now, I told God I didn't want twins. Obviously, that can't be 100% right in terms of, you know, the power of tongue and whatnot because God was like, <laughs> here you go. Here you go, girlfriend. So, um, yeah. Guys, I'm saying that, obviously now I wouldn't change it for the world. I love my girls. They're like my life. So, um, yeah, the rest of the pregnancy was absolutely fine. I had the easiest pregnancy. I could have been carrying one, you know. Um, I did suffer some morning sickness. Badly, actually. That was quite bad. Um, but, you know, that faded and, you know, yeah. 
pregnancy was fine delivery was again absolutely you know it wasn't like it was a little bit dramatic but that's going to be another video um but so coming home with the girls once they were born i thought this is a breeze you know bear in mind let me tell you something i had my mom staying here i had my sister staying here like they all came to visit like you know to stay and to help out with the girls and obviously my husband was here as well so i was sleeping and i had a c-section so i was uh, recovering and stuff you know wake up here and there because i had so much help and whatnot let me tell you these things do not last these people obviously had to go back to where they came from i.e work and you know their own lives the day that once my mom and my sister obviously went back to work and went back to their homes and stuff and my husband went back to work that day as soon as he walked out that door when that door closed it hit me it was like a slap to my face it was like okay you're on your own now you're on your own now girl what you gonna do girl hope you enjoy that sleep girl because that sleep's gone girl Jeesh, no, it was hard. So I cried. I cried that day. I remember and then the twins were crying and they cried at the same time I was like, what, was, what am I gonna do? Who am I gonna pick up first? Who am I gonna feed first and stuff? But you know what? You find a routine. You find a way that works for you. Don't get caught up in, you know, Instagram moms and, you know, um, all the advice that everybody's gonna give you. Everybody and their dog and their dog's cousin's baby mama they're all gonna try and give you some advice but do your own thing find a way that works for you because you know it's not it's hard enough having one baby having two babies is really hard um so yeah those first few months it was difficult and i remember not wanting any visitors either like people will be like oh can we come see the baby because everyone obviously everyone's excited and i was like you know either try to put it off now let me tell you something guys um when a new mom especially a new mom with two babies is you know if you want to go visit be mindful of when you go visit and how long you stay the people who will come and they will come and they will sit and they will stay and they will you know hours will go by and it's like okay you have to leave like you're tired and you've got so much to do and you know the babies need attention whether it's feeding changing or whatever and it's very difficult to be in that state and to try and to still you know entertain guests whether it's just even trying to hold a conversation with them um you know and sometimes you just want to to be be i don't know how to say it but be yourself you know whether it's to take off your bra again or whether it's um to just sit and watch tv sometimes you don't even want to have a conversation because you just your mind is just so fuzzy with everything that you're doing and tiredness so if if you go visit a new mom whether they've got one two three four babies don't stay too long you know i think 20 30 minutes should be like you know the maximum time and um yeah so some some people i was just like not some people i did not because of who they were but just because of when they asked i just could not bring up the strength i guess i'm trying to look for the word to to have guests in my home um, but yeah, once obviously the girls were grown, it became easier and everyone was welcome. Come, 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 come through. In fact, as soon as anyone walked through, I'd be like, here they are. I'm going to take a shower because that's another thing. Taking a shower, taking a shower is a basic, taking a shower should be a human right. I was going to say it's a basic necessity, especially for a mom. Like you guys, before you have children, you don't even understand how you take for granted taking a shower but once you have babies and you can have that 10 15 20 minutes to just take a shower on your own everyone says it but you won't realize how true it is until you're in that situation it feels so good sometimes i would just lie in the bath and just 
not be a mum for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes, you know, because obviously someone's watching the babies. Sometimes I'll even take the piss and lie in there for 40 good, good minutes, you know. Again, as long as the babies are okay, like, it's, it became everything. It became that moment where you just have it to yourself. Right, so another thing with twins is that nine out of ten times, um, mine are nine identical. Now, I don't know if this makes a difference, but they hardly, in the beginning, they hardly slept at the same time. So, um, you, you feel like there's always someone awake, so you're always on full alert sort of thing. You don't have a moment to just breathe and relax sort of thing. Obviously, you have things like bouncers, so I'll put them in the, not bouncers, yeah, is there a bouncer? Yeah, a bouncer or a swing, just to get a moment, then I'll put on some Peppa Pig or something. TV became my best friend, guys, just to distract them, just for like 10, 15 minutes, where I would just have enough time to take a quick pee, sorry, TMI, um, do, do a quick pee, you don't know, take a pee, do a pee, yeah, duh. eat some food, you know, you need the energy, so that's what I would do, um, and then just will do, I'll do tummy time with them and stuff, but all the time I'm looking at my clock thinking what time does Chi get back home because I need someone here to help me with this, and then another thing is um, when you go to bed, and then you wake up and think, oh my gosh, I have to do this all over again, sort of thing. So, yeah, that that did become a little bit um, difficult, but I got the hang of it, though. I think someone's awake. Yeah, I'll go get it. And also, I do want to touch about anxiety. Guys, I suffered from anxiety. I think from the from the time they were born, probably until five months, I barely left the house. Like, okay, no, I'll take them every day for walks. So I took them for a walk around the park and that is highly advisable. It gives you something to do, it, you know, that's not in the confinements of your four walls of your house sort of thing and you know it's definitely a stress reliever and it's a time killer as well before their bath time bedtime so i'll go for walks and stuff but in terms of visiting people um play groups no that was out of the question so you want me to come to a play group with my two babies and one of them starts crying and the other one is just you know on their own and then they start crying and then i just look like a complete mess because i don't know what i'm doing because i still didn't know what i was doing it's fine not knowing what you're doing when no one's watching you it's another thing when every other mom is watching you with like a sympathy face like oh poor you sort of thing um yeah so obviously i do know what to do in my house but it's just that feeling of being judged that I'm, I'm not handling things and I thought that I was handling things but I had this thing overall though guys um, I do believe that I've been blessed with the really um, good babies in terms of um, their personality they ba barely cry as in my babies will only cry if they're hungry or they're tired and that's it otherwise they're happy to just sort of get on with things so you know I say God has a human, but he knew what he was doing and, you know, I can handle it. So obviously, you know, the saying, God never gives you more than you can handle. Yeah, no, it's been the biggest blessing. Um, they're two, they're not completely different in terms of character wise, but um, obviously they look completely different and they enjoy and now I feel like they've got siblings already, so, you know, they have each other to, to grow up with and to play with. And that really helps, like, you can just leave them playing with each At the moment, they're not exactly playing with each other, but, you know, in a couple of months, hopefully they'll be able to play with each other and just give me a little bit of um, free time. also wanted to quickly uh, mention um, sleep and how we've done it. Now, you know, it's not impossible when you have twins, but you really have to be a team when it comes to that. We made the decision from very early on that the girls would not sleep in the same room as, as us. And that has actually been like a lifesaver. 
I don't recommend it. I know the recommendation is have your baby with you in your room, but it worked with us and it's still working with us. And obviously that eight months now, we're not going to revert back from that. But um, my husband is a late sleeper. So I'll have the girls all day and then um, he'll be at work, come home from work. I'll go to bed around seven. This is in the early days. Now I'm fine because I've got used to not sleeping that much. Um, I'll go to bed around 7, 8 and he'll basically take over until like 2 in the morning sort of thing and um, he'll like put them to bed and he'll sleep, he'll basically be in the room with them, you know, whether he's on his phone or laptop or tending to them or whatever, but he will do that and that would allow me a good um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 6, 6 hours sleep and sometimes when he comes to bed the baby's are sleeping so I could have slept even up to 7 hours. So that was really helpful and then he'll go to bed and then obviously wake up for work around seven sort of thing but um so this is how we've done it and that's worked for us and at the weekends he gets a longer lying you know just to sort of rest up whilst I wake up with the girls um so that's been really good and um I think that's probably how I survived you know those few early months but now you know they've been in a schedule up until December they were in a really good schedule the schedule's been messed up because of the holidays so I'm trying to get them back on that but overall, I can say, guys, it's hard, but it's been the biggest blessing of my life. I couldn't imagine my life without my, without my two little munchkins. They make me laugh. They, you know, they've changed me completely for the better, I think. So um, to all the mums out there, especially those with two, hang in there if you're going through those early days. Because I promise you they will pass. And you will look back on them and you won't even remember like I'm trying to think back on my early days and I'm thinking it wasn't actually that hard now in saying that and someone told me this you know when we're talking about future babies and stuff they were like and we're talking about how we miss newborn days you always miss the newborn days once you're out of them but when you're in them they can sometimes feel like I never want to do this again sort of thing so they say enjoy it and do enjoy it just enjoy that moment that day and do whatever you have to do you know that's safe for you and your baby or babies um, in order to get through the day and as I always say as long as your babies are fed clean and there's one more I can't remember and safe that's it nothing else matters everything else can sort itself out so yeah, that was just a quick chat guys um, about my experiences so far. Um, I will be talking about my labor and delivery um, in the video coming soon. But I hope, you know, this has helped someone and thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.